Hey guys, it's Ryan with AIInsiderTips.com. In this video, I just want to let you guys know about Adobe Firefly and their upgrade to the Firefly 2 model. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Adobe Firefly, this is Adobe's generative AI software. So you can think of this similar to Dolly 3, which is OpenAI's generative AI software. Um, and as you'll see here, as I scroll on the Adobe Firefly page, and, and I'll leave a link to this in the video description below as well, you'll see if you scroll down, it says announcing the new Firefly 2 image model. It is still in beta mode as Firefly 2 was actually just announced at the Adobe Max conference, which is finalizing this week. Um, but on the Adobe Firefly page, you'll see the difference here from image one to image two, as they're just showcasing, you know, the enhancements of Firefly 2 versus Firefly 1. Um, so some pretty cool stuff here. And then there's some other options here like sci-fi. Um, this is a really, really neat, you know, example here that you can compare the differences, compare and contrast. Um, food, macro, just some various other things you can play around with here. Um, there's some different prompts. There's some different image examples you can use on Firefly 2. Very similar to Dolly 3. OpenAI has a page for Dolly 3. This reminds me of that. Um, but guys, you do need a paid account in order to use Firefly 2. So that's important I mentioned that. And you can purchase this with the Creative Cloud plan with all the Adobe apps. And that's what I have since I use Photoshop frequently. Or you can purchase Adobe Firefly on its own for $4.99 a month. And this does include 100 generative credits for AI images. Now you may think to yourself, well, why can't I just use the Bing Image Creator, some of these free AI image generators? And you can, you know, the issue is too, think about Midjourney. Midjourney costs $10 per month and it produces some very quality images. And I'm about to show you why the Adobe Firefly 2 platform may be better than these free ones. So I am on it here and I do have access. And I'm going to ask it a prompt here to see what this can create. So it says a golf course with mountains in the background and city skyline. So let's see, this prompt is, you know, it's simple, but it is a little sophisticated. So I want to see what it can do with this prompt. Again, a golf course with mountains in the background and city skyline. So just give it a second, a few seconds here while this is creating images. And right here. Um, these are not real images, guys. This is not a real golf course. These are purely AI generated images. So I'm very impressed with these. Um, and you could use these images for whatever, you know, you click on this, you can download it, share it. Um, you can even rate it. So that way it, you're giving signals to Adobe Firefly, the AI machine that, Hey, I like this or, Hey, I don't like this. And then it takes that into account for future prompts. Um, so pretty cool guys. There's some customization options here. I can get a landscape image if I want. Um, you can, you know, obviously do photo or art. So if you want it more realistic, you'd want the photo. If you want it more, you know, art cartoonish, you do the art. Uh, but now I actually, you know, compared this to the Bing image creator. So when I asked the Bing image creator, you'll see this right here. I mean, I would have to specify maybe a little bit more with the Bing image creator um, that I want it to look like a real golf course. But you'll see here, this is just more animated, cartoonish artwork. Um, not as good as Adobe Firefly. So then I went ahead and compared it to Canva Magic Studio. Now, if you're not aware, uh, Canva just released their Magic Studio, which is a whole bunch of AI enhanced features to the Canva platform. Um, so I asked the same exact prompt to the Canva Magic Studio, a golf course with mountains in the background and a city skyline. And this does look similar to what I got. Um, as you'll see, it's accidentally adding all of these. I'm just trying to showcase this, but you'll see here, if you can look at this, it is, you know, pretty similar to what I got with the Adobe Firefly 2. Um, there is a news post here, a press release from Adobe that explains more on the Firefly 2 model and just Firefly in general. And I can link to all this in the video description below. Um, but that's it, guys. Just wanted to bring you this video about the new Adobe Firefly 2 generative AI software. Again, this is Ryan with AI Insider Tips. Appreciate you watching this video. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment below. Hope this quick video helped you guys out. And guys, I look forward to creating more AI content like this in the near future.